Hey friends, today I'm coming on with a small Joann Fabrics haul. I picked up a couple things in store and then I also ordered a couple things online. So I picked up two packages of Tombow markers in store and I ordered two of them online. And then I got some fabric, which I'm still waiting for one of the fabric quarters to come in. And then I also got this Tim Holtz Distress Mica Stain here in the, the Christmas colors. So all of this stuff was on sale, um, really good sale for the Tombos. So let's go ahead and take a look. Excuse the messy desk, I need to clean it. But first I got the, um, they are pearlescent mica sprays and you have the sugary gumdrop wonderland and frosty mint so i haven't taken these out of the package and tried these yet but it adds a pearlescent shimmer to paper crafts or mixed media projects it adhere to paper canvas wood fabric or other porous surfaces used with distress ink oxide spray stain and oxide spray to create colorful luminous effects in backgrounds it says shake bottle until mixing ball rattles and pigment is suspended in liquid and spray directly on to surface and then you're supposed to clean the nozzle right after use so that it doesn't clog up so excited about trying these out then i picked up this fabric quarter because the christmas ones were on sale for i think like a dollar and something and this has got the gingerbread. I like that it has the touch of pink in here and that mint. And I'm going to be working with uh, gingerbread uh, for Christmas. So I picked that up. I picked up the pastel set of Tombos, which I've used a couple of these already. The bright set, cottage, and tropical. So let's test these out. I also went and printed off online just the color, um, all the different colors that of Tombow markers, and I went ahead and marked with the pastel and bright pack, the ones that were in the package. That way I try not to buy, buy too many um, duplicates of these. So let's try out the tropical colors. And these are tropical. So I'm excited about these for using in planner spreads and they do have the colors marked on them here. So this is 379. Um, it doesn't give you like what the color is called, but then you have your dual tips. You've got the brush end and then you have the fine, finer tip at the bottom here. So you get two different colors. Um, markers. So I definitely will be using more of the lighter colors in my planner to create boxes and things with and darker ones in other projects. So let's test out these colors and I did double check that these four sets do not have any duplicates, so they're not going to be um, the same colors in any of them. They might be close in color, but they don't duplicate. So, so far, I really like those blues. The light blue there is definitely going to come in handy. Um, could use that even as a highlighter. And this color here is perfect for Halloween or fall. It's kind of like a yellowy orange. And we do have an orange, in, but it is different than the other orange that I have. 
So this is more of like a kind of like a pinky orange kind of. Not sure how to describe that. Have like an orangish red there. Love pinks. Any color shades of pink are perfect. And so far, all of these are writing, which is amazing. Well, that color is interesting. Almost maybe like a mauve color. And this is kind of like a pinky purple magenta y color. So those are really pretty. So I like how you have the colors closely match the tips of the markers, which is good when you're just kind of pulling them out and not pulling out your swatch book. So that is the tropical. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these off camera and then we'll come back and take a look at the colors. All right, so I went ahead and swatched them all. I definitely really like these tropical colors. The cottage, um, these are, a couple of these colors are gonna be really good for fall crafting and planning. And then I really love the blues and the little light pink here. Then we have the back here. I wanted to show you that there is no, um, ghosting or bleed through to the other paper and this is happy planner paper so that's awesome we have our brights and then we have our pastels and of course the pastels are my favorite because you can use these for highlighters in so many different ways some of these darker ones you'll be limited to what you can do with those so now i'm going to pull them back out and mark up my little color chart here. I pulled out this um, pencil makeup bag that I had gotten at Five Below and these fit perfect in there and there's a lot in here and then I will transfer these over into a different system when I figure out how I want to sore them better. So thanks guys for stopping by and checking out this Joanne haul. I'm going to um, recycle the packaging here there's no need of keeping this because just pulling open the clamshell packaging every time i need a marker is not something i want to do so thanks guys for stopping by hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you soon bye